because that move is ridiculous. Yeah. It hit, it hit him anyway, and then it Zamba just won. Like Zamba, he didn't dive off the back air, but he won off of what happened yeah, after that. And I was just like, stage okay, and I can... I'll, I'll hold that. So now we have DD Kazuya versus Mega Ike. Um, again, Mega been playing very well today. I mean, oh, he's up here over on top a. Beating V, beating VV, getting a shield break for Didi. You're gonna not die. You know, I got scared. I was definitely terrified. Like if Kazuya Michimi punches me in the gut, I'm exploding. <laughs> I, I'm folding <laughs> immediately. I'm being deleted. <laughs> But I wonder, it's like, why the forward smash punish? Like, I'm mean, glorious demon god fist is certainly a name worth of its title, but mm -hmm. he's at zero. That's Kazuya death percent. That's like, oh, all right, I get to turn around, I get to go full stage and do something. I don't know. We'll talk about theoreticals later. Yep. And and my like perfect universe, Kazuya touches you and kills you. But <laughs> the the game plan still is the same Love for this. Mega. Way. Play at arm's reach. Play mm -hmm. as far away as you can, but still with enough threat and enough power behind that swing, behind this sword, for it to make a difference. And oh, that falling up air was so clean. Loving that. I think that Mega playing at the same kind of range that um, that Jadeza was playing at against Didi's Kazuya is phenomenal right now because Mega is going out of his mind, and Kazuya can't really contest that big sword. Uh, that big sword, like he really can't. Yeah, beautiful yeah. use of the back air to catch DD's recovery. Beautiful down air, beautiful up air, and there's one, two socks gone. Just absolutely beautiful. You know? Beautiful. Yeah, it's, Mega playing it, out of his mind. Ike just be so pretty sometimes with how they move, and when a good player moves with a good character, I was waiting for them to hold down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure that was on purpose, but the uh, that 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 to avoid the uh, the laser is really good. Just like this low profiling and moves. Hello, hello. Uh, wave missed the wave bounce. Even more missed the punish. Unfortunately, Didi has got uh, quite a bit to go. The up nice. smash yep. does do it. Didi got got two stocks to go. This is two potential combos. So going for some of the crouch jabs, but Again, this is every fair into up air. Yeah, big nair. Beautiful. Big up air. Game it works closed. out. And hey, like this is the same mega. That made top 24 at Apex. Yes, Not King Behavior! Like, literally on a groove, on a vibe, and on something, able to close out against a third-ranked player in Australia in near-dominant fashion. Mm-hmm. That up was crazy, yeah. Here it is. What was this one? This was the... This, oh, this is the another, yeah, another uh, Nair into... Nair. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and the Wario comes out now. Uh, DD flipping the script. I think War is a better pick anyway, um, rather than Kazuya. Just because he saw that Kazuya couldn't come clo in close the way that he was really wanting to. What Kazuya in, in general just wants to do is come really close to you, and those touch of deaths are so in his game plan sometimes. But what Mega does with that up is so also really good, just to armor through a lot of hard hitting moves. I know Warrior is just gonna. <sighs> I'm scared. Yeah. I, I, I don't hate the. I don't think that Kazuya. Uh, Ike matchup is that particularly awful in a lot of ways, oh, no, of but it, not, it, yeah. like you have to play it in a way that DD just isn't, or at very least doesn't look comfortable in applying mm -hmm. to his game plan right yet, yet with this Kazuya. The Wario, on the other hand, he understands like he understands how to get up and into Ike's face quicker. It's like I'm gonna mm -hmm. stop your jumps. I'm gonna stuff out your aerials before they happen mm -hmm. because Wario allows me the time and the uh, the attributes to do that. Also, I think that Warrior's air drift in the anyway is also really good to contest what Ike is really trying to do against Absolutely. people who don't who can't have that kind of uh, freedom. So here we go, down to why is he on DD just to double jump away from the situation? But there we go. There is of course the forward air trying to get the down air as well for a spike hitbox, and I think was trying to probably just didn't turn around grab. Yeah, just missing the turnaround, mm -hmm. which is uh, unfortunate, losing a ton of advantage. But you still have. Plenty to go. These up airs are also threatening, but the back air parries as well from both sides. Super clean. Or to oh, hey, the grab. He mixed me. <laughs> he mixed me. I guess I guess one of those characters where it's Ooh, hard to nice. be super. Extra and, and this could go for a lot of the fire mode characters. Like where it's hard to be super like mix oriented and like mix up heavy with this character because it's, everybody knows what you want. Yeah. But. The fact that Mega has shown this level of 
experience. I mean, he's been playing the character forever. And he shows that experience, and he shows that with every single ounce of his play, that you are able to find even just the cheekiest mix-ups, as I say, as oh, he gets bullied. Yeah. Bully with up air <laughs> on platform, in the air, into walk, and he's... That was bullying. That I am reporting you. That was <laughs> absolute bully. And we have a replay One, of it! Two, three, and we're four, replaying. Four up airs and an up tilt waft. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's how War you do it. Absolute Wario moment. Yeah, right. <laughs> more or less. <laughs> Wario moment. I'm s okay, bike up into the air. Ooh, I think that, that him staying at his for so long was really good for for DD. Oh, nice nice, uh, nice bite right there. Just a little bit of healing and some extra damage on Mega. Trying to get the, the read on where Mega was going to land with that side B, but not getting anything off of that. <laughs> not getting anything for a while here, Mog. Like, it's mm. just Mega, until this grab, like, has been uh, just blanked on dealing damage for so long. Finally gets a chance to play the ledge trap, but the angle from DD is just enough to get by without a scratch mm -hmm. on him. Just really just enough to get magnet hands for that ledge grab, and but just slightly enough so Dare doesn't hit him. That was just beautiful spacing. And you're oh, dead. he caught the bike. He picked up the bike and was left totally vulnerable to that pivot cancel forward tilt. Uh, th th this down smash must have been a bait or something because, well, and he lifted the bike. Yeah, it's too heavy. You can't even see him. <laughs> look at, oh, look at Megan the player cam. And he's this like, nah, like, nah, like this. I got, I got bamboozled. <laughs> I just really wanted to show his gains and lift up a whole bike. <laughs> I think like the, the second stock was enough for me to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Because yeah. that second stock, absolute bully. That's just some, how the game be sometimes. Oh, oh you saw Mega in the first <laughs> I didn't even see Mega in the first stock. He literally just like... Ready, like, just seconds him up. Over on PS2, here we go. And we're already starting really strong with DD. Oh my goodness. Super strong start from DD right there, but... I can never see Mega taking it back on this stage specifically. This pitch is so good just for, uh, for, oh, the jab lock, the, for Ike's aerials, for Ike recoveries, and also just being able to run away a little bit more just, um, from, from DD, but this is not working out clearly. Yeah, like, the stage itself offers everything that Ike wants it to, assuming mm -hmm. that the stage is like Battlefield and like Smashville or Band, yeah. but, or maybe like Smashville Hollow Bastion, what, whatever the case, but, got to be able to close you got to be able to execute that game plan and right and dd has been really smothering but closing out the stock is equally as difficult you're out of down tilt dash attack percent here so you just got to find either a read on a landing or a something to close out the stock or just <gasps> yeah. like that i think that it, absolutely knowing that mega is always going to go with for a side b for it that uh, recovery option is yeah. so good just know, and you know, you kind of know where he's gonna land. He's gonna land somewhere in front of you yeah, at that a, percentage. Having a beat on that mix-up is astronomically important. And, you know, he's driving around town. <laughs> Man was on a cruise, going to go shopping for a second. Yeah. Gotta go shopping for a. I don't, I don't know how to extend this metaphor, but the <laughs> 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 Mega, Mega, trying to get control center on stage right now. He's just struggling to get in. Even that, not taking it. Well, this could be a huge punish. Oh, no! oh my goodness, what the, the drift! Wind! The drift the was drift, so wind, good. Everything. Okay, finally taking it back. Finally, at more of a like a uh, digestible game right now. That just was percentage. Two stocks apiece. Oh, try going for the startup of the uppy, but the bite did him in, and the up to it till into the wop again. So mega, the part of having a mix up, right, is like, and, and quick draw is not a bad one at all because you can charge it. You can faint going high and go to ledge instead. Mega has yet to do that, <laughs> which is, you know, problematic, especially since Didi has just caught onto that multiple times over and exploited the hell out of Mega for it. All right, yeah, Mega. Oh, Ow. instead, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna chop it up to he was just the wrong way. He was by accident the, went, the, went the wrong direction with that forest smash because that would have been really, really good for him in that in that situation. But <sighs> the vision is there. Beautiful up air. So's the rage and so's the damage so far mm -hmm. with Mega able to find a couple keen openers here. Just looking for something. The empty land forward tilt, calling out the air dodge back to stage. And 
Hey, don't sleep on Mega right now. This is no waft Wario, but there is still that dash attack to worry about. Please just go to ledge. Thank you. Yes, just go, <laughs> just go to ledge, please. Uh-oh. We, we, we... Reaction? It's so hard. Oh, finally getting a blitz straight by Didi. But, I mean, how long can you survive just finally trying to get I back can. to neutral? But Didi is just so, so on point when it comes to forcing your way back to stage. Oh, wait a minute, Mega. Okay, Mega. I like, that, I like the game plan. I really do. I'm slowly starting to see you come back to life. These 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 grabs are so good for for DD. Once more, grab to four throw. No no throws to close out of stock. Away from ledge That's huge. gets the aether. Really 75%. good. 75%. Love that armor through. Love it. Trying to use the movement just a little bit. The roll behind. I mean. Find the right position and things get out of hand real quickly. One back air from the corner <gasps> might do it. And there. Oh, that was huge. That's really good for Mega. That could have been stock right there, but Didi was just not aware of the situation of, of where Mega was going to land with the quick draw. But here we go. Oh my! Oh, oh he missed the, the rip. Missing the back air, the the waft. Back air, the waft. A huge whiff on the waft there, throwing out up air, trying to keep Didi in the corner, but the fair just gets by. Going for Aether, you get to go to ledge for here. Okay, good, good. Nice, nice use of Aether. It's a but he missed the, he crouched under the low profile at the very end in that grab. Mega still surviving at 210, getting another grab. Didi, it's it's percent don't throw. matter We're right going now. Really deep. Oh, Didi's safe with that, uh, with Ooh. the uppy, um, the armor through the uppy. Another Aether again. Oh, is this scary? Oh, yes, gets the fair right there. Bike in hand, bike and is, is parked, and you turn around into death. Game three surviving. You, you, yo, everyone behind, like, behind the curtains right now are yeah. going crazy. They are popping off for the boy. Mega eliminating third play, third on Australia PR. Gone. He's relieved. He's so happy. <laughs> Absolutely really. I, I mean, I, when was the last time he took a breath? He's been sitting at whatever, at extreme percents time and time again, like 173 on this stuff. This was literally what he did in Zombo's match too. He was just at 200 percent the yeah. entire time. Mans was living. Mans knew that this moment where he, not this moment, um, the last talk where Didi just missed out completely. Mega knew, I have a chance. Yeah. I got Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Had a chance. That waffle was the biggest thing that was holding Mega back from really playing his heart out and now that he knew that you know it's gone you angle you are not charging it up this stock last stock i got this and he really did it mega taking out third in australia over in losers top six absolutely breathtaking match it was a one it was last stock situation last hit last game y'all got me scared sheesh all right i mean we got a we got Mega to has got to stay there, right? After one doozy of a set, Mega gets <laughs> draws John Numbers. Who so for the rest of the top eight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had Mega Didi and John Numbers deal. Common League Grand Finals ended up a fifth place match, yep. uh, for of which Numbers ended up taking it two to one. Uh, Dill ended up winning over.